Gerald has a big pooping fetish. I don't know if you'd call it that. He's probably got the cleanest butt of anybody I've ever seen. I mean, really, people really have something against a man with a clean butt, don't they? I mean, I'm just not going to be out there. I'm not staying in some cheap hotel and wiping my butt with a phone book. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to have toilet paper. I'm not going to have toilet paper. I'm going to have quality material for quality job. If you try to put on roofing with a house with a napkin, it's going to leak, is it not? That's nothing worse than running your finger through the paper. You just never know. <laughs> what if you get your shit? <laughs> you want some? First off, you got to put some in your truck door. That's the key, because if you get caught in one of them rest areas, you ain't got none in the truck door. All right, them's in the truck door. We good to go. Then you put one in the boat, they go back here in that back store, and then one goes in the food coat. That means you go with pins. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to tell you. That right there, that's you, I'm pins. just telling you, you can't beat them. You can't beat them. Do you use toilet paper too? I'm just ain't going to do it. I'm a wifey's man. I'm going to keep fresh. If, they, if we wreck tomorrow and they can't identify me, tell my wife to smell my butt. If it don't smell like a cotton wipe, I'm not, it's not me. Go to the next guy. He doesn't use toilet paper, no. He'll kill me for saying that. No, he uh, he uses wipes, and he's been known to take a maintenance wipe during the day. No, no, no. Toilet paper makes me want to fight. That's what you ought to do to all your MMA fighters. Make them go in there and wipe their ass times with that old toilet paper. How to make a man want to whoop somebody? He starts getting that burning sensation about third round. He's gonna come out swinging, ain't he? <laughs> what got into you? Two minutes into the third round, I started getting that baboon sir, and I couldn't take it. That's why a lot of people are irritated when you see them out on the street. <laughs> they got the baboon butt, and they ain't been wiping good. It will get you, you get chafed up shopping in the mall, <laughs> you ain't buying nothing, you coming home. Not me. There's things during the day that are initiated sometimes that I'd like to refer back to as a maintenance wipe. <laughs> well, we've been out on the boat before during the day fishing, and all of a sudden, he'd be like, you need to turn around. Okay, why? Well, I need to take a maintenance swipe. I'm like, what's a maintenance swipe? It's, so when you're not having that oh so fresh feeling, <laughs> you need to clean yourself again. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and y'all can all laugh or say you hadn't had it, but there's been a time in your life when you thought, I just don't feel clean. There's a burning sensation, and I'm not talking about a love moment. I'm talking about you wanting to itch your butt with a pair of wire pliers. You're thinking something is not. Dude, I'll just pull up a maintenance wipe. I'll stop right in the middle of the day and pull maintenance. <laughs> this ain't gonna do it. I'll see people doing that, walk around all day. <laughs> not me. I could be visiting the Pope. <laughs> Let me take five. I'll be right back. So anytime I come up missing, it could be a maintenance wipe. I'm just encouraging you to do that. You, the rest of the day is, is really a lot better. I mean, there's people serving life sentences that probably ain't as frustrated as a man is and needs to have a maintenance wife. Because you can do something about it. If, you, you don't, if you're serving life, you can't do nothing about that. So there you go. Now y'all know all my poop fetishes. And I'm not loaning none, none of you. My wife is. I don't care. Y'all get in a bind, I'm going to say, yeah. <laughs>